This friend advice montage has been hilarious so far. I can't wait to see what Fluttershy's advice is. <laughs> Let me just get this out of the way. Yes, this is Trixie's best episode. However, unlike Spike's best episode last week, this episode is not without notable flaws. Nor is my soured opinion on it based on one particular problem most might brush over as a nitpick, but I found it a soul-crushing problem. Again, I'm bringing my own bias into this review. However, I'll note when we get there. Until then, let's celebrate Captain Quark's spirit pony. These wild stallions have been in the stable too long. <laughs> Like I said, this is easily Trixie's best episode. It's easily the most Trixie we get to see as Trixie within the show. You know, not acting as a stage persona or being possessed by an evil magical artifact. Here we get to understand her dreams, feelings towards Twilight, and how she interacts with a friend, you know, someone she sees as an equal. The friendship between Starlight and Trixie was born also from a rather natural place, from a mutual understanding of where the other came from. You know, conquering a town with evil magic. That and all three sides are presented in a way where you can understand and can relate to them in terms of the main conflict between Twilight, Starlight, and Trixie. My main neutral complaint is I feel this episode tries to cram too much in, which creates a rather jarring paced episode with not enough time in between scenes to give the drama a chance to breathe. There's like, what, four plot arcs in here? The A plot was Starlight making a new friend, the B plot of Twilight not trusting said friend, the C plot of Trixie getting character development and backstory, and D finding out the secret of Celestia's main. However, when they were just crammed all together like they were, I just got the feeling that I was missing a few scenes, sort of like with BVS. And I think part of the problem is this episode is sort of too soon in the season. Starlight is just now having her character fleshed out, and Trixie is having her character actually given character. It's like we skipped the introductory phase of both and just jumped to their team up. Again, a lot like BVS. That's why I feel Trixie's jealousy of Twilight Confession feels a little too fan servicey for me because it's something I know the fan base has come up for a, quite a while, but it hasn't really been established within the show, well, main show itself as we don't really see any true interaction between Twilight and a non-possessed Trixie, excluding the Equestria Girl films and the comics. Essentially, how can Trixie see Twilight as sort of a rivalish figure without really knowing her? I feel this episode would have been stronger mid to late season after another Trixie appearance and several Starlight episodes, which we know we're going to get. Now on to my big problem of the episode. This scene. A pony eating magicor. <laughs> Sweet Celestia did this scene not piss me off. Not just because Fluttershy was the only main six member not to actually get any speaking lines this episode, but because they break her character development for a fainting joke. And Nick, Fluttershy is not afraid of any non-pony creatures, including manticores. This is something that was, I don't know, if you include two parts as one episode, established since episode b***ing one. Yes, I've heard the argument that she was afraid for Trixie, but that was heavily stretching how things were presented. Either she was written terribly out of character, or her fear for Trixie was terribly presented. It's like with the Cersei and Jamie controversial rape scene. It doesn't matter what you intended to do, there was a fuck up along the way. This tie with Fluttershy's week showing last season and so far this, and the seemingly ticking time bomb that Flutter Brothers episode synopsis revealed, has sort of crushed my hope that the writers have any idea what to do with Fluttershy this season. And that fact is sort of killed a lot of my interest in this season. My favorite part of the show is essentially just gone and that just depresses me. Again, I try to be open with my bias as pretending not to have any I would find would be sort of a lie. Even with that said though, it's a good episode that offered good development for Twilight and Starlight and Trixie. So a good episode with a depressing realization attached. Sort of like Trixie's attempted suicide. Yeah, that was the thing. Well, this is the Ninja DC. Keep calm and an open mind, and please tell me how you felt about Fluttershy's portrayal below, or the episode as a whole. Till next time.